guys seen filming the next update for the deck of panning project this was created by emily and max this is a huge collab project which is so fun and every month emily shuffles the game board and for each card in a deck there will be a certain prompt for it and then you pick whatever product you want that fits in that prompt and you get to come up with whatever goal you want unless it is a like hit pan specific goal and that hit pan is one of these face cards which stay the same just the other cards switch up the card nobody wants to get is the joker because that means to pan something you don't want to it doesn't have to be a product that you hate it could be something that you just don't use very much or something that you want to give a really high usage goal to or a finish goal or something challenging and we are working on only five prompts at a time which is great because I have a few other projects going on right now so out of my five items I hit my goal on two progress on one and two were untouched so starting with the items I hit my goal on for the category gifted I chose this mini Fenty pro filter instant retouch primer that my friend Amanda sent me I had a goal of using it five times I was able to hit that goal I am working on other primers which is why I had such a low goal but this is a nice product I definitely will hang on to it it meshed well with my skincare and my foundation it didn't ball up or pill so very happy with that and then for the prompt pretty packaging I chose something else my friend Amanda sent me and this is the Odin's Eye Solmon highlight palette and I just wanted to use each of the colors once which I did do and this is something I actually am decluttering I just wasn't the most impressed with the quality of this I felt like these were a little bit smoother but these were a little bit more like PC glitter and multi-chrome shimmer and it just didn't look as beautiful in the skin so I will be passing some but it was so beautiful and I was really glad to get the opportunity to try it then I had the prompt of hitting pan so I chose my Sephora Colorful Matte Eyeshadow in a Let It Snow, which is just a matte white that I use every single day to set the primer under my brow bone. And I expect this to be here for a really, really long time. I'll have a comparison picture on the screen. I feel like you can't see much, but I have been weighing it as well. So it went from 0.365 ounces to 0.361. That's not bad, but I do use it every single day when I only need a little bit of this. So then for the prompts I haven't touched, one of them was pick your space and I chose eyeshadow and I picked this row in 11 and 11 quad. I wanted to use each of the shades one time just to decide if this is something that I wanted to keep or not. And then something that has been in since the intro would be for a sentimental product. I chose the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. I wanna use each of the shades in here one time. So far I have used Marina, Claudia, and Lula, but the other shades in here are very fall for me, so I won't be using this for a while, but I might be able to pull out a couple colors in summer, but it's not going to have any use on it the next couple of months. So we have two products rolling out, meaning we get to pull two new cards. All right, so I've already shuffled the cards. Let me just take the two from the top. The first one being the two of spades. And then we have ten of hearts. Two of spades is a most recent purchase. That's fun. And then ten of hearts is something with a pattern so that means a product with a pattern embossed in it so that might take me a second to find so I will be right back okay so I am back so for the two of spades that was the newest purchase and I want to use both of these pot concealers five times each I'm really wanting to see if I need to keep them both or if there is a formula that I like better this is the REM Beauty Sweetener Concealer in Fair 5W and the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Light One Chantilly. So I've had these in my makeup basket and I have not used either of them even once. So I do think this will help me test them out because if I don't love one, I want to be able to return it within that window. And then for a product with a pattern, I chose a Pat McGrath Blush Duo. This is in my chopping block. And this is in the color Aphrodite Amour. I like the brighter shade, but the lighter color I feel like doesn't do much for me. And you can see there are like lines here and then a rose imprint here. So I'm going to use this five times as well. 
that's my deck of panning update. It would be amazing if I could hit my goal on all three of these products by next month, but I'm not sure about that. I think I can probably do the concealers. I don't think I will have all five uses in the blush and I would love to be able to hit this rum and quad goal, but I definitely want to use at least two of the four shades by next time. So we will see what happens. Again, I am working on a lot of projects right now. I have just posted all my updates before this one. So I've got my year long hair, skin and body project going on my spring makeup project pan, charmed project pan, and then I do also have my year-long makeup project. So a lot of stuff going on, but I'm feeling pretty good about the things that I have selected. I would love to know if you guys are participating in this as well. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.